Welcome back to the WGL EU Season 5 Match Week 7. We have just absolutely flown through game number one. Yep. DRL getting swept aside by G2L Plate, and now it's time for battle number two, or game number two, should I say, as it's going to be TCM up against Momentum. Now, slightly closer, I hope, than mm. that previous game. Yeah, I, I think, well, anything's closer than that previous game. I'm about as close to, um, I don't know, a million dollars as uh, Dream Leprechauns was to winning against GG Well Played. Yeah, five to nil scoreline, mm. finished in like 40 minutes, one of the quickest games we've ever seen for sure. And once again, I do put the challenge out there. Can any team beat GG Well Played on Cliff? That's the challenge of Season 5. Don't care if it's the offline finals, don't care if it's the online finals, uh, online stage. I really want a team to try and put the test to them, but Momentum versus TCM Gaming. Now, mm. TCM Gaming in a little bit of a slump right now. Two losses in a row against Evil Panda Squad and Kazna Crew, whilst Momentum did manage to pick up a 5-4 to four scoreline against Utopia. And, of yep. course, you remember Utopia beat TCM Gaming in the beginning of the season, season 5-1. to one. So, theoretically, it should go Momentum's way. In theory, and generally I'd say that loss to Kazna for TCM, not the end of the world. You know, mm. Kazna are a very strong side overall. They've known TCM a long time. However, it's the other loss there that kind of rings alarm bells a little because, let's be honest here, it, it should have been a bit closer than it was. And TCM have been known now for getting advantages and then kind of giving them away. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, against Virtus Pro, they're actually winning that one, but they, yep. lost four in a row, they lost four in a row. Still managed to pick up the one point, of course, because the tiebreaker rule, but... Um, they could have picked up three points against um, Virtus Pro, which would have been fantastic, as they are, of course, sitting in first. TCM Gaming in eighth, just below Utopia. Of course, you can check out the standings by heading over to eu.wgleague.net, clicking on leagues and clicking on gold series. That gives you the team lists as well. So, lineups here, TCM Gaming on the left, Momentum on the right. Um, team leader, still Mojo, still in charge of this TCM Gaming side, and Momentum's um, Manza, the shot caller for them. So. It's an international team, TCM mm -hmm. Gaming, and um, more of a Latvian team for momentum. So uh, you kind of have that whole dynamic as well. So it's going to be a very interesting game um, if the communication is there for uh, TCM Gaming. It certainly should be. Eighth against tenth isn't exactly a huge margin, but I feel that we're starting to see teams breaking out, either building up in towards the top six or falling down towards the bottom of the league now. It's, it's starting to get to that point of the season where we really see those mm. four front runners starting to get ahead. But obviously, it's not just about us here in the studio. It's about you guys at home and how you guys want to get your thoughts through to us. There are several several avenues you can do so. And I'm the person who can do it much better than I can. Melly, if you did want to get involved, how can they do so? It's really easy. Just open up your browser and head over to facebook.com slash WGLEU where you can find a vote where you have to vote for your favorite team. The team vote doesn't affect like the chance of winning bonus codes. The only way of winning bonus codes is predicting the exact scoreline of the very matchup. If you say team A is probably going to win, but team B is my favorite. So vote for team B and predict the, uh, the, the match result as in favor of team A and you will be able to win the vote. The team vote is only only to see the trend and the, the tendency of the community. So head over to Facebook, get in your votes, and also get involved on Twitter. Head over to twitter.com slash WGLEU. Follow us there, of course. And uh, we will provide you with live updates during the show. So if you can't follow the stream, don't be sad. We will be tweeting to you and telling you what's going on on the servers so you won't miss anything, any results, any score lines of uh, today's matches and, of course, of the following match days, of course. And... Um, Yes, also, tweet us your opinions, tweet us, I don't know, funny memes. We had some cool memes the past match days. and One of which is put up into the caster's office, yes, which I is quite beautiful. <laughs> it was a perfectly uh, photoshopped face from Alex yeah. on my body. Mm. Yeah, it was awesome. I think Who it's did that, actually? So, uh, I think it was on Twitter. Yeah. Probably if you just go hashtag WGLU, you can probably find it there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think that's the way it's social, social media... Social media guru. He can take my job. <laughs> he should be taking. My I don't job. know about that. We I've, done some I've done some questionable things on on, on our on our mm. Facebook and Twitter pages. I'm not. Taking. We don't trust Ollie no. anymore. No, but but it's right. If you want to see what uh, what happened the former match days, what people tweeted to us, just go to Twitter and search for the hashtag WGLEU. That works as well. So if you want to bring up like postings from um, from the past match days, then just as said, uh, search for the hashtag. And uh, yeah, we love reading from you. And let me see if something happened in the vote already. Whew. Well, it's not a lot of votes yet, but <laughs> it's 100%. But for whom? 
Have a guess. TCM. TCM. Yeah. No. Meh. <sighs> Meh. I, considering these two are literally two ranks apart, you you kind of assume it'd be a little bit closer, right? Yeah, and considering the previous uh, matchups and results, yeah. you would also consider it to be a little bit closer. I think Momentum are on their way up, and I think TCM Gaming are on their way down, and they do have to kind of stop that um, descent really quickly if they do want to nab themselves a top six spot, which is, of course, what they'll be working for um, in this season. But, yeah, we can go and break this one down a little bit more. First map is going to be Muravanka, where... Mm -hmm. Uh, Momentum's going to be defending first. Second will be Cliff, where TCM Gaming will also be defending. So those are our two maps for this uh, matchup. Um, now, I'm not sure what to think about Muravanka. I think it can be very back and forwards, but Cliff um, could possibly where Momentum takes it. Well, it's something to keep in mind. And obviously, you guys with those votes out there, you have the say in the matter. Get involved on all of those avenues that Melly told you about. Facebook, Twitter, watch a VOD back on YouTube if you really want to get all that information and really find out about these teams because you know it's all there maybe look at the hall of fame as well all available on the site so do head over check it out and get involved hashtag wgleu who do you think is going to get this one tcm or momentum both teams having their strengths having their weaknesses some on the rise some slightly on the fall but we'll find out who really pulls it through once this game gets underway we are just waiting a couple of seconds for the teams to get ready because that first game was obscenely fast bearing yeah. in mind that was something that most of these teams probably didn't expect so these guys are just playing catch up we are ahead of schedule so you know work with us a little here guys but it will give you ample time to get voting get involved and get through to us in all of those avenues we laid out so if you're a betting man ollie where's your money going to be um well if it's going to be beer i'd be more tempted to be honest like it okay, was uh, monday you, you betted beer and i think i got it right no you got it wrong did i yeah you got it wrong i, I don't know about that i, no, I, I question your your your, your memory in that situation. I'm not sure about that one. Um, but yeah, I think I would put it on to TCM Gaming just a little bit. Did I actually get it wrong? Yeah, Someone have a did. look back on that one. I'm yeah, pretty sure did. I got it right. Yeah, Many. you got it wrong. Oh, no, I don't have a... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I wanted to give you the results for the MVP, actually, oh, if you're okay. interested. Well, that's also okay. quite important. <laughs> well, it was Haiba. Congratulations. You uh, got voted as the MVP of Match Week 6. And, well, can we looking forward to 100 euros... Uh, of bonus. Yeah. Did you expect him to get the MVP of, uh, of the week? Team captain of one of the biggest teams. I mean, didn't expect it because yeah, there's a lot of good players in that mm -hmm. MVP. But yeah, I think it's not surprising. Hyper's a great player. Yeah. Uh, certainly deserving of some recognition as well. Normally, there's a lot of big, you know, big faces in the lineup. Yeah, I mean, you kind of often omit the team captain, and I think it's <laughs> yeah. quite easy to do because. Yeah. You don't really see their individual plays because yes. that's not what they're about. But yep. I, the reason why Hiver was put into the MVP is because he coordinates his team and he played at such a high level at the same time. So yep. it's it's a hard, it's no mean feat, basically. It's it's really impressive stuff. And I think in general, you guys should give some love and support to the team captains in general. In these two, as I said, uh, Manza um, and uh, still Mojo, of course, um, for TCM Gaming and Momentum. So... Um, yeah, just just throw your love their way. Of course, you know, Kazna Crew also on Twitter. You can follow them at Kazna Crew and on Facebook, Kazna Crew. So give them love, give them support. Um, send more 100 euros towards uh, Hyver if you really want to. That could be interesting. Are you getting a card this <laughs> or something? Is he like, uh, if you promote me, just, I yeah. might give you like 10 euros or a They're beer. giving me like 10% of their prize money commission. That's what's basically ah, happening here. So. Smart, yeah, very smart. Basically. I'll have to speak to Verspro or School Bus and see how uh, <laughs> I think Ooh. I'll come up a bit better than Yeah, maybe. Take you know? Verspro's <laughs> prize money winning stuff. Like, good. I'll be good payday. It wouldn't be bad, <laughs> would it? Yeah. I'm sure they we might finally be able to buy our freedom from this studio. Oh, I'm not, not, not quite. sure about no, that. No, no, no. We have actually got guards outside this yeah, week. They don't let us actually multiple gun turrets They're it's a camera right but it also doubles as a gun <laughs> this is what they don't realize it's, it's some james it's what bond they stuff don't realize. this is james bond you know. is this how you keep yourself occupied during the day just pretending just pretend stuff, stuff is guns i'm james bond Ooh. hey i like guns is this, i like this, ships this i like oh yeah james bond is good that's all i did on christmas now i'm going back to christmas pretending to be james bond <laughs> no just watch james bond well, also pretending to be it. james you bond can't as well. actually escape watching james bond it's just constantly yeah. on it's not very glamorous sit it's not very, it's not very glamorous sitting at McDonald's at three o'clock in the morning though. That's that's where I that's where I fall down. I'm not at the Ritz or not at like Casino Royale. Passed out in your cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah I mean, basically. I mean, James Bond, I mean, James Bond doesn't have a, tat uh, a tank tattooed somewhere on his body. Nor do I. Wow, <laughs> <Melly's just laughs> called me out. Wait, right Melly, how do you know about his tattoo? That's in a very <laughs> private place. You can guess where it is. Just tweet. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna go well. 
Think, think of what else is... No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Tweet us. Use the hashtag WGLEU <laughs> and tell us where Ollie's tank is hidden. It's, oh, quite, wow. it's quite a large tank, so it has to be on a relatively large area. Uh, I know it's got quite a small turret, though, right? <laughs> Is that, is, um, is that a, was that a phallus joke? I don't. Uh, no? A fallacy? A phallus, maybe. A phallus it may be. I, I'm not saying it's true or not. I don't Tom know if you know like, your English. These words are big. I can't deal with them. You said the wrong word, but I liked it. You <laughs> tried. It you were close. It just starts with an F, but you're not quite there. But no. I liked it. I liked it a lot. You got right red. Are you okay? I think you should Google that one because I'm pretty sure I'm right. Are you, are you For okay? the second time You're today. like a cherry tomato. I'm always red. I'm a red man. Oh, no. If you see my dad, is literally bright oh, red. Why would I see your dad? <laughs> it's getting better and better. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Hi, no. Ollie's dad. Can I have a picture of you? Because apparently you're always red. He is red. He's as red as the background right now. Oh, has he got the rosy cheeks? Uh, yeah, I think he's just got high blood pressure then. He <laughs> sounds so cheerful until you say that. He might have medical problems. Don't laugh, yeah. Melly. What? <laughs> She's just... We are actually just waiting for the team. So yeah, we are, we are waiting. Us. I'm working. <clears throat> Oh, it's, uh, that's always great. The fake typing approach. If, hmm. <laughs> you can hear me typing if I'm No, I like just this. read something very funny in Twitch chat. You should check it, check it out. You're not going to tell us? No. No. Right. Just Melly go and look for yourself. No, Melly doesn't talk to us. <laughs> She's too cool. Yeah. God damn, Melly. Right. But we can start talking yeah, about the lineups are coming in now, so let's just go, go back it. to the tanks. Um, so as I said, TCM Gaming starting the attack. So they're going for the three two five ones, four two five ones, even, two fifty one hundreds. And an uh, M44 played by Steel Mojo in Firm Momentum. It's a triple, no, quadruple, 251, 5916, T69, AMX 1390 lineup for them. Okay, so we are seeing artillery then. With yeah, TCM. but TCM has picked it before an attack. I mean, a lot of the defending teams like to use it, but on the attack, I it can it also work. I, I think it makes more sense on I think they used a lost against Utopia with this exact lineup, um, but they've probably, you know, Mastered a little bit now, and I think they could do this one. Uh, I've been playing a lot of the M44 lately as well. I think it's okay. I mean, it's one of those tanks where you can fire and forget because you got such a good reload, 17 seconds, 700 damage. You can just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot, and it's so easy to use. But, you know, as we saw the other day from Momentum, you know, free kill picking up that F13 mm. in on Prokhorovka. And we saw on the other side, the Utopia picking up the, well. M, uh, the M44, and you could see the quality versus quantity argument. Yep. Quality came out on top. See if that's going to uh, hold true as well for this round. Well, into the game we go, and this is game number two. TCM up against Momentum. And Momentum will be in the south in blue, and in the north in red, it'll be <laughs> TCM on the attack. Yeah, we'll see. As you said, TCM gaming going forwards at the beginning. They like to go for that left side, Amix 1390, playing towards the middle. Now, last time Momentum played this map, at least, it was back and forth between Utopia. Both, pick up, uh, both picked up around, both as the attackers and the defenders. Um, but for TCM Gaming, they've um, also been going back and forth on Muravanka, but with slightly better results um, for them. They did win three rounds against uh, Vertus Pro on this map out of four. So they got a better, better track record to see if that holds true in this one. All right, let's find out. As so far, I've got to say, it, TCM looking f not necessarily confident, but they're certainly uh, making a little bit of a play. So we have seen quite a couple of teams tying with the eastern side, heading down towards the south uh, from that. But I won't see still Mojo coming into effect. And what do you make of a captain sitting in artillery? Is that a common factor? Is that something that's mm. fairly, you know, specific to TCM? Well, still Mojo is well the best artillery player there as well, so it kind of makes sense. And you know, he is the captain, so having artillery having that overview is, is good he's also not having to do a lot of work he's not having to constantly think about his positioning so he's got that going for him as well um, I was actually you know listening to TCM gaming training yesterday and uh, against for instance WSD and they were doing some good work so see if the training's paid off you just need going forwards it looks like we're still mojo now in place TCM gaming wants to make this move they want to do something here Bungis is going to be the first target shell does come in misses though yeah, Bungus somehow not going down in this one. Three shells now coming in. I don't know how he's still alive and doing damage. Isn't he finally lines it up, does get one coming through, but Road now in position. Burn taking a bit as well, and actually, Isn't he goes down from this. Yeah, but a lot of damage has gone towards momentum. It's definitely in favor of TCM game in terms of HP, but Purple Shift in a bad position can be constantly spotted out. This could be two tanks going down. Bungus still alive and still Mojo still missing those shells, and I don't see Purple getting out of this one. 
Oh, he's certainly going to try it. Not going to happen, though. He does go down. And now two lost for TCM. And none down for Momentum. Whose position would you rather be in right now? Definitely Momentum's. I'm not even sure that what that was from TCM Gaming. It seemed to be, you know, not enough resources into that. But Manza next on the chopping board. I think they might be able to take him down. But you can see the su support is strong for Momentum in the background. And Momentum making this hard work. Manza does finally go down. So at least picking up one back. Bungus is low. Road is fairly low. But that's not helping out. Carvey going down here. And TCM... Not looking that strong. It's pretty sloppy, actually, from them. I mean, it's poor execution, not putting enough tanks in certain positions, not going forwards in one concerted effort, kind of pushing here, pushing there, trying different things. But you know, three tanks to one is, is just not a good piece of work from them. And, um, you know, momentum on the defensive side can just sit back, relax, pester with outrun going forwards on that 59-16 and keep the pressure onto TCM Gaming, who so far have lacked, as I said, execution and real... Um, thought processes towards what they want to do, but uh, momentum si sitting back, trying to get the spots out, making sure that they're not being too um, forward with their attacking style, and I think that's really going to pay off for them, but TCM Gaming do still have a chance. they still got plenty of time. That's one of the benefits to making an early play. Well, the one thing is that, as you, as you mentioned then, the attacking side, it, it's difficult to make these sort of plays when you're down on numbers, when you're down on HP, even though it's not huge, it's not massive, you generally have to sacrifice something to get in towards any sort of area. And still, Mojo being part of this certainly doesn't help. Not doing anything with it either. That is rather troublesome. And bearing in mind, Momentum aren't playing completely out of the ordinary positions. No, they're playing standard positions. That was really should have hit a couple of shells. But, yeah. you know, the M44... It, even if you do hit, there's a good chance you're only going to do between 300 and 400 damage. Mm. You're not going to penetrate all that much. I mean, you might on a couple, for instance, we saw um, Arclit penetrate in M41. Um, but, you know, it just depends at the end of the day. And, and I'm not sure it's a good idea to put all your your faith, I guess you could say, into yeah. Steel Mojo and that M44 because you've got other tanks that can do the same amount of damage with less reload time and, and a little bit more direct, a little bit more accurate. He's just there to pest. He's just there in the background. If he does hit a couple of shells, it's, it's good work from him. But they look like they are forming up. and going to be trying another attack. Of course, Eurofish in the background. He's going to be the last to go in because he has got the least amount of HP. Well, they've got to make a play. They are on the attacking side. Momentum looking so much stronger and just ready and waiting. They only have to watch that timer go down and, as TCM drive past their fallen comrades. Road does get the first shot. We'll take one back, but the game and the plan is certainly up for TCM. They're going to have to execute rather well, but a lot of damage being received here. Burn just behind them, able to get some shells on the go, and he did manage to find one, but Eurofish still in this. Trachis next on the chopping board, actually taking a fair bit of damage here. This is what TCM Gaming should have done in the first place. Put all their tanks in one line and just go for the push. Bungus, Trachis now down to one shot. Yukai gets a little bit unlucky. Tracked, taken down. Yeah, now just Il Mojo alive, and bearing in mind they're on the attacking side, so even if he does you know, stay alive for the whole minute, it makes absolutely no odds. Shell comes out, only one bit of damage so far, and it's not a great deal. No, splash damage was yeah. that um, piece, 230 total for Still Mojo. But it, you know, it's game over, 55 seconds left, and only Still Mojo and the artillery surviving, and I think Momentum might just try to go forwards and take him down. He, he's just going to be spotted now as he does fall. Bringing the scoreline up to 1-0 to nil for the Momentum boys. And poor performance from TCM Gaming in that first round. It just seemed very sloppy and disjointed. It didn't seem to have that real focus. It didn't have that end game, which I'm surprised at. Jeremy TCM are a team that have not necessarily just you know, tactics laid out, but they yeah. have a plan and they generally play to it. That time, they just yeah, Momentum didn't do anything special. Let's put it that sure. way. They, they just played a very standard way. And TCM didn't really challenge much. What what happened there? Well, I just uh, I think you described it perfectly. It was disjointed play. You could see the first initial play mm. with the, the two five ones going forwards over the left side. Yep. In my opinion, they should have really either committed all their tanks over towards that left side or at least pushed some of their tanks left, some of their tanks right, and come from both angles at the same time. Because I think if they did, they wouldn't be able to you know come out of that situation with a, maybe a three to one or a two to two, and then those tanks on the side they can get the shots on because they can get the higher ground. Um, and it just didn't seem coordinated. I think TCM will have to kind of go back with the, uh, back to the drawing board with that one. 
and um, hope for a better round here in the second mm. one. Uh, lineups are pretty much staying the same. You got the two five ones, a quadruple two five ones, two MX thirty nineties from um, TCM Gaming. Obviously, still Mojo is still playing that M forty four because of the six tier eights, the one tier six, and for um, uh, the side of momentum, the two five one, the fifty nine sixteen still being used. They got the three four two five ones, the the MX thirty ninety and the T forty nine played by Team Captain Manza. Well, a lot on the line now. TCM need to T69 prove... T69 even. There we go. TCM need to prove that that was just a bit of a mistake. It was a fluke and it shouldn't have happened. And this time they need to come out guns blazing because they don't look like they're in fantastic form just now. Momentum would be looking to pick up these points as much as possible. So into round two we go. Battle number two in the north. Once again in red, as mentioned, it will be TCM on the attack here. In the south in blue, it's Momentum looking for the defense. And this time it looks like maybe TCM have a plan. Yeah, TCM going towards the Magic Forest. Um, for their first push, Yukai going to the middle. That kind of reminds me a little bit of what Momentum did against Utopia. Sending the tanks into the middle and playing around there. Yukai doesn't find anything, doesn't get found as well. Actually, I do correct myself, Bernergy, um, one of the newer players for Momentum. We haven't really seen him that much, but he was actually the MVP vote for them this week. Plays been playing pretty well. Um, mm -hmm for a guy that really hasn't been in the team that long or hasn't been playing for that long, he can be very happy with his performance. Now, TCM have got still Mojo in position or will have it within the next few seconds. So once he's there, they will kind of start start to formulate a plan. But you, you got to think it about it this way. They haven't got 59-16, so that right cap is still kind of out of bounds for them. Sure, they got the two AMX 3090s. They can also cap. They're also small enough to not to get spotted too easily. But... It's going to be tricky for them to actually be able to execute. And you can see how many momentum tanks are down south. There's still Mojo making a couple of blind shots. He hasn't found Outrun, which is really the guy he's looking for uh, as the TCM boys do start to flank around. Let's see if it works. I'm, I'm slightly skeptical. It's, uh, words are hard. Skeptical after that first round performance. I just didn't buy into it just yet but still does is making his way up he's going to put himself down towards that k line just right at the bottom there maybe get a nice little bit of a deflate and get a, a couple of shots on and off throughout this one but i just don't know how i don't know why but i'm really doubting tcm in this one and looking at what momentum can do considering tcm have your vote and are leading so far overall in the rankings you'd say this is their game but at least TCM this time looking like they're starting to formulate their ideas, starting to get into in, in some short sort of shape. And I actually like the positioning coming up from Still Mojo. It's fairly unique. We haven't seen someone um, playing that sort of spot mm. uh, just yet. Maybe Arklet played it in one game. And you can see the access it allows. Free kill there, taking a little, but not too much. A little bit unusual that he's actually in that position with the uh, MX3090. I guess they it was, you know, uh, about compromise. They needed that outrun in the left just to spot out through. <laughs> spot in the magic forest so they had to put another small fast tank um in that southern side and that was of course going to have to be within the amx 1390s mm. the one which got the best spawn some damage does head towards does in the 251 but not too much second little bit though has to really retreat get oh. out of there you can see that t49 really doing some work as momentum do start to mobilize but they've put themselves in a little bit of an awkward position for the tcm guys who are you know heading up south as bernie receives his search out of the game yeah, Bungus and Road then creating a beautiful crossfire and just catching Durs so low. He's down to what, 5-1-1 now? So under half HP pretty much. It's it's not a great position to be in there. So nice bit of work early on. Burn being down to 7-4-9 though for momentum and free kill a little low as well on 8-2-4. Means that there's still a game on here and we have to wait and see where TCM take it. But as I said, I feel taking damage on the attacking side is so much of a problem as Durs does take one more. And he's quite no man's land. Yeah, he's also a one shot. Um, if he gets unlucky, potentially could take two. But mm. uh, the, the rest of TCM is pretty healthy. The, the HP is even because of um, him receiving a lot of damage. But the push is going to come. This is through the middle, basically, with Yizni. He's going to try and get the side shots. It's actually good for them because um, they managed to pincer in momentum. And Yizni can just peek around and do some good damage. And also, TCM Gaming has the higher ground. But momentum is doing quite well to kind of culminate all their tanks and all their players into one position mm. to be able to ward off this attack. That's purple, purple shift. shift. Bad position here, high ground with Manza.
Getting shots on. The artillery comes in, but not too much as Purple Shift now pretty much a one shot here. Free kill looking for it, gets it. And momentum once again. Pretty much on course to pick this up. If they keep the damage up, Durst takes another down to 19 HP. Yizni from the side, and it just looks unrelenting for momentum so far. Yeah, 5916 can do some great damage with that autoloader. Oh, and Yizni makes a big mistake using way too much space to turn around there. Does get immediately punished by momentum, taken down for a 2 to nil exchange. Finally find one of their own tanks outrunning the 5916, but it's only a tier six. The good thing for TCM Gaming, the only good thing for TCM Gaming is that they still got Eurofish Carvey and Yukai on full HP, so yep. they can potentially you know, take down Free Kill, take down Bunkers and Trackers, and they are going to try. Well, Manza does go down, hitting 1.4k damage overall, so nicely performed for him, but now the team needs to step up. Trackers is on the front lines here, and Carvey looking a little vulnerable, goes in, finds Eurofish, not Carvey first, and takes a lot of damage. Yeah, Steel Mojo is going to oh, come on Free Low Road. Going straight in here, hammers it down, does take one. But now looking for more. Trackis comes around, gets reload, looks for it, gates one shot towards him. Burn comes in as well, and Eurofish being surrounded here does go down, unable to take down Trackis. And now Yukai left with a world of trouble on his hands. Yeah, four tanks for only three left for TCM Gaming. Again, still Mojo missing those shells. Yukai's had a good game so far, hitting over a thousand damage, but yep. TCM Gaming have tried to poke, they've tried to go in and they've just been punished. They've just been pressured continually by Momentum, who are really, really doing well at this point in time and not really making too many mistakes as Yukai might get caught out here. He could potentially take down Road, especially with that first miss and the rest of his team being out of position. Yeah, and Yukai's certainly a player who can achieve it he's done it so oh sadly enough for you guy he does get caught and taken down the end now does was the initial guy who got so much damage towards him is now left alive on 19 hp still and still mojo i don't think this is going to go well for them does goes down and still mojo last man standing again no surprise in the artillery but once again, TCM seeming to lose a lot of focus in this. Yeah, TCM Gaming making um, a catalyst of mistakes. We have to really think about uh, what they have been doing wa uh, doing wrong. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard to say what they've been doing right at this point, but they have been trying, and I thought that was a much better effort. You can see only three tanks remain for uh, momentum as Bernagy does dispatch a final player team captain still Mojo and does bring the scoreline 2 to nil on a map which TCM Gaming should be winning on. Yeah, let's be honest here. The first round, you can always chalk that up to just not being ready, not being prepared, not being warmed up. You know, it's first round. Yeah. It happens. Second time around, you would kind of would have hoped that there'd be a little bit more on point there. And it seemed that they had a plan from the eastern side. They did take everyone over there. And then it just fizzled out. What, where is this direction? I, I don't know if it's... Could you maybe argue it's still Mojo being in artillery rather than you know the usual tanks and leading from the front lines, or is it just not being prepared in this? I would have actually brought a 5916. Um, I mean, I, I don't like artillery too much on this map, but a 5916 mm. would have given them that extra dimension of pressure. They would yep. have been able to put it into the cap, put it on uh, a good position like that. Maybe even take down outrun one versus one. Um, but the mistakes also came from, in, for instance, Yisni, you know, he, he was turning around that AMX 3090 and he forgot about those tanks behind him and he got taken down really, really quick by them. So that kind of gave, you know, uh, momentum one extra tank advantage. So mm -hmm. it was a two for nil exchange instead of a two for um, a, one, a one to nil um, exchange for them, which would have still given the advantage, but not such a big one. TCM Gaming could have potentially come back into that game, but... That whole Yisni push behind house wasn't too good because of the amount of damage they took. Purple Shift also going down really low here because of Mandra and that T16, uh, T69. You can see the T69 working its, its magic. And that was the only shell still Mojo hit and only for 200 something or damage, which which really isn't enough, but it's also not his fault. It's just uh, the luck of the gods at the end of the day. But we will be switching sides now. Momentum going on the defensive side. Uh, from the on the attacking side mm. and uh, TCM Gaming switching to the defensive. And maybe TCM need this just to get him into the game to be able to sit back and not have to make the plays because we've just seen there they're not really um, coming up with the goods when they're on the attack. So hopefully TCM on the defense can really start to make things work for themselves here. Currently struggling at two rounds against them. It's not the opening they would have probably wanted. However, you know, being two rounds down at the start is not the end of the world, but... <clears throat> Team like it's the end of the world if you're four 0 down at the start. That's what I worry about you know? because it, it can spiral. Momentum are a good side. I've seen them do some fairly convincing stuff on their attacks. 
what do we make of them as an attacking team? Obviously not quite to sure. the standard of GGR play just yet, no. but competent? Competent. Um, uh, as I said before, they won an attack and they were, uh, won a defence. It was back and forwards between yeah. Utopia. Um, it's more the style of attack which I like to see. They like to play around the middle. They use, like to use those AMX 1390s. You can also see, also see that they're using um, uh, uh, Bulldogs instead of the uh, artillery or even the 5916s. So definitely going for more of a mobile attack, more of a kind of less, uh, less of a, a turret attack, less about damage, more about cap. And that could work out for them. It's, it's been their strength in the past. So they certainly have a good chance of winning this one. And they would only need to win one round right now to be in a great position for that second map. That's the worrying factor, isn't it? It's one round away almost from getting themselves locked in at a great spot. And that's what you get for opening and winning with the first two rounds there. So hopefully for TCM and pretty much all you guys out there at home who voted in your droves for them, they can actually turn up now because those first two rounds were not convincing for a team of their caliber. However, going into round number three, let's see what they can bring out now on the defending side. It's their time to shine. It's battle number three in the south in red. This time it's TCM in the north in blue. It's momentum. Yeah, momentum going straight through the middle, as I said. That's where they like to play around with. That's where they find their fun. That's where they find their form. And let's see if that form is on today on the attacking side. Of course, a completely different mentality, a completely way, different way of seeing the game. Immediately to find Silmojo has switched from that artillery role to a more of a mainstay tank, the 251, and gets punished immediately for it. But Bernagy also receiving one. So a one for one exchange, not a big deal. I mean, a shell here, a shell there for a bit of information is worth it. Certainly is, and we'll see if that has any impact. Bear in mind how much damage does took at the start of last round. It's it's a lot it's it's a lot better, let's say, for TCM. Uh, a lot less substantial. What do you make of the T thirty two? Do we like this one here? I've never really seen it before. Um, it's so slow, it's only just got into that position, and that <laughs> could be a mistake from TCM Gaming. They should have seen it, they should have stopped it before it got there. Now, it's going to be very, very hard to deal with. Um, it's hull down, it's got a lot of armor, it's a lot of HP, and um, you can see Yisni already pinging off the front of that tank in the AMX-1390, 245 penetration will you know, struggle against the front of the T-32, especially at any kind of angle. Um, so. Yisni going straight on reload, having realized that one. But more blind shells coming out left, right, and center as um, Momentum do start to look for that southern cap. I have got a 59-16, so they probably won't be able to do it, but putting pressure hull down with the M41 Bulldogs to the south, trying to put some damage onto Yisni and then uh, push up from the north with a cap. And I guess that's the one thing TCM Gaming has right now is that they can say, okay, so the T32 is up there, so that's where they will have to push from. A lot in effect now, <clears throat> and a lot to keep in mind. Uh, Manza in the south. Maybe looking for something. Burn getting spotted out, and Momentum still have a lot of time to play with. Certainly not in a rush just yet. As you can see, Manza there. Just about avoiding these shells. They are coming pretty darn close from Yisni. Uh, just letting a couple fly. But bear in mind last time, I did pick it out again, but does did get caught out quite drastically here. So you do have to be fairly cautious in this sort of position. Manza does receive another one, but for sure he's doing good work against Eurofish. Took, taking down his radio operator, I mean, not a big deal. But of course, with Brother in Arms, that will take the 5% crew skill off him. And more damage heading as well. Eurofish now... Uh, Almost getting towards that one-shot area for some of these tanks, especially if they're losing, using HE ammo, the 251s, for instance. And uh, momentum slowly creeping, creeping up, and TCM Gaming are starting to buckle under that pressure. Now having to push forwards, maybe do some damage onto um, free kill as trackers with that 90 millimeter is constantly doing damage to Yukai, who has to try and get off there and get out of there. Yeah, the HP for TCM is starting to look low. I, I, <laughs> I, I worry they're taking a little bit too much damage early on here, but then again, there's only 3 minutes and 36 seconds left. They're going to have to take damage at some point. I'll we'll have to see if they can make the most of it as now that T32 just certainly being the elephant in the room right now. Neuron smothered in the opposition, but not taking too much damage yet either, which is quite surprising. Trakis sitting well. What the hell just took down Purple Shift? Boom. I think that was two shells at the same time, or an Amorak. So, yeah, Trakis fantastic work by him and now TCM Gaming has to try and get the advantage back and they will go for the T32 which is not great. 
Yeah, but Eurofish does get caught out there. He's going to back away, but he goes down for it, and Track is still alive. And as we said, this is the guy you'll want to take down, but they're taking so much damage for it. Yukai will finally come through, but Bungus there really making it costly for TCM. Look at that HP difference. Look how these guys are trying to hold on here, but Outrun actually being caught out in that eastern side cap. Yeah, he isn't even hitting those shells. Fantastic work from him. Yeah. Outrun getting away there, outrunning those shells, and only... Uh, a smidgen of HP left on him, four in total as still Mojo probably will fall here, but those shells missing from momentum, they need to work on their sniping skills. This is something I've seen in the past. Again, hitting the side of that, uh, that tank, only hitting the tracks, and of course with their heat ammo, it's going to be quite unlikely that can be penetrating. So, what was it? Five tanks versus four for TCM Gaming. They've still got Yisni at full HP, does a Nikta also. Mm -hmm. And when Durs does have a lot of HP to play around with, he can be quite dangerous. They will have to rotate up north with the 59-16 to try and stop this cap, though. It looks like a 2-2 split for now, and Durs is on the way. There we go, finally getting past uh, the other 2-5-1, slightly further south to him. And the 59-16 in the forest, the 13-90, not too far away, Durs. Making his way around, outrun. May go down here. Four HP left. He's not in a good position. He has been spotted. Carvey on his tail as well. And he's doing a good job at least keeping one of them busy there. As three now make their way back down towards the cap circle. Burn does get spotted. And now they need to do the damage. Does the Nikta also in a good position? That M40, M41 does go down, I do believe. So it's now all back even. And uh, TCM Gaming have momentum where they want. As long as they can do the damage, they should be able to close this one out. Burn taking a very light bit of damage and 116 delivered. Free kill in the back lines. Not quite able to tame. Still Mojo, I think, who's further in the south. He might need to deal with him soon enough. But look at this play. Straight out of the cap circle. They're not afraid to roll out of this one. Taking a little bit of damage there. Slightly uncoordinated, but Bungus does come through. Road goes down. And this is still very much on for these two. Yisni on the circle. Going to try and find a shot here. Bungus misses. Does not get it. And Yisni now on reload needs to get the hell out of there because Bungus is going to make some shots. And free kill is not far away. 340 damage. And uh, as you said, free kill just behind Yisni. Having to try and get out of this one, another HE shell. You can see how much damage it does punish with, but uh, Yisni just time, just just playing for time right now. Still, Mojo could fall, but Carvey in that 59-16 right up north, he's trying to be found by I believe that's uh, 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 Bernagee, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. And if he even if he does, I think Carvey might be able to kill him. And already, still Mojo going for a bit of a swim here. Uh, buying time pretty much. 15 seconds. Tank to the northeast. One down to the southeast. Free kill. Desperately looking. He's got a good idea and he might be able to find still Mojo up in the northeast as well. And doesn't get the damage he wanted. Reload comes up. Gets him now. Can they take down Carvey? Carvey up in the north. Surely just put out zero seconds left. TCM with one second. Well, zero seconds remaining. Just about staying alive. Yeah, and Carvey was on 276 HP. If uh, Bernagy had been using the HE ammo on that 251, he could have easily one-shot him. Mm. Even if using heat ammo, he could have actually one-shot him. So a much more convincing attacking side from Momentum, for sure. They knew what they wanted to do. You could see the pressure coming on, going from that southern cap, um, trying to make TCM go forwards. But when TCM did go forwards, they managed to do some good damage. They might managed to stop the cap, also getting the higher ground. Yisni hitting 2.2k damage in the MX-1390 certainly helped as well. So TTM Gaming just about coming away with a win there. Um, but a couple of second extra could have been a different story. Yeah, I find it very hard to ever warrant or kind of read into a win in these situations. As you can see early on, Track is here doing a marvellous job just kind of being, you know, massive with HP. Soaking up the shells. Still Mojo comes in, um, does take a little bit. But all in all, it was just looking like TCM were constantly trailing. In yeah, this one. I've sure. got to say, they never seemed as though they were taking the lead in here. Then again, they're on the defending side. They don't need to necessarily take the lead. They just have to be prepared to close out the game, which I guess they did. But it wasn't convincing, to my standards at least, in comparison to how Momentum played on that first side. Yeah, TCM game will have to up their game on this next round. Um, and But the thing is, typically we've seen teams that go on the attack second time round are about 10 to 15% better. So I'm expecting the same here from mm. Momentum. The question is, will TCM game be able to match that increase in skill by 10 or 15% to actually be able to win this one and bring the score lines all even? I'm not sure. I'm really, really on the fence on this one. I think yep. Momentum might just be able to creep a win in here. Yeah, I, I think it's if, if TCM scraped through with two rounds, it's very lucky for them on this map. I think that it'd be a shame to not see Momentum get another round here. 
personally, and unless they make some huge error down the line, because at the moment I think they are slightly outplaying TCM. Uh, I don't think it's it's too harsh to say. I think the momentum are playing a little better. However, let's find out how this round goes down. I believe the tanks are ready. The teams are ready. Let's get into game. Battle number four coming up. Currently two to one. And has the lineup maintained the same? Yeah, I mean, Trackers beating that T32 was a massive factor. He took mm. down Purple Shift and pretty much one shell. Also didn't help TCM game his case. But uh, I think TCM will be thinking about trying to stop that T32 getting in position as early on. And Momentum's going to be putting all their resources to basically pave a way through for that T32. You know, keeping the, the right side of the map, keeping the left side of the map all tied in and uh, uh, safe for the T32, the lumbering T32 to get into this game. But still, it's all to be played for right now. As you can see, 2-1 to one at the moment in favor of the Latvian's Momentum. And at the moment, playing a little bit bit better. Bungie receiving a little bit of damage as does Trakis. Hero Fish with a fantastic peaking shot. That's what that guy is good for. Trakis <coughs> does have to try and reverse out this time. And you can see immediately that Momentum wants to do some early damage to that T32. So, early damage is certainly coming in as well. Down to just over 1,000 HP, 500-ish gone so far. So not bad work. And clearly, TCM learning from their previous... Not necessarily errors, but the previously close game, they're coming out with a little bit more of a strong performance this time by focusing towards him a little earlier on, which is going to do them wonders looking at the HP already. However, it looks like Momentum are building themselves up into the north here. Is this going to be a repeat of what we saw in the uh, First northwest side, <coughs> or is this going to be a push <coughs> down to the south? I think this is going to be a repeat of what we saw from TCM Gaming at the start, where they pushed the G1 area. Yeah. Because Momentum's expecting Purple Shift to be in that 2-5-1 over in G1, they'll be able to take him down because he's pretty much unsupported indeed. He does get spotted there. So by just putting all tanks onto him, he'll die within a few seconds. TCM Gaming will have to try and work around that as the M40, M41 does actually spot Purple Shift. And you can see immediately the reaction from Purple Shift does is to try and get out of there. But Momentum not taking the bait, not going for him. <laughs> no, indeed. It's nice to see teams maybe being a little more cautious. I guess those tactics are finally working out at the moment where teams are overly reading in stuff and dedicating themselves a little too early to things and getting caught out. However, as we said, slowing down a little now. Teams are working stuff out. But this northeast play could throw things out of whack here. What What is this positioning? Why, why are they re responding as such? TCM Gaming on this map like to revolve, they like to be quite dynamic and yep. they're basically going to try and counter Momentum's play up in towards the, the southwest side um, by pushing all the tanks from behind and, and kind of catching them in a good position. If TCM does get those tanks in a good position, does get them behind, does get them in a, in a place where they can decap, it's going to be great for them. But the, the plan remains the same. Purple Shift, this first target, does fall immediately. My God, they picked that up and made it look so easy as well. He went down in a flurry of shells, and that's near on evened up the HP. Not exactly, but a massive amount. And with three minutes left on the board, Momentum need to keep these sort of plans rolling if they want to pick this one up here. Let's see what they can do now. It's still Mojo out of position. They've almost switched around here. So we've got the attacking side holding the southwest and in the northeast and north. We've got the defenders completely out of whack here and still Mojo down very low. Yeah, still Mojo shouldn't have peaked then. 11 shots, zero hit. I mean, all of them blind, but he should have just stayed safe. And when he was unspotted, just make the peak and, and spot for his tanks up into the north now. The momentum, are, uh, TCM Gaming are severely down in terms of HE. Trakis might fall, but Eurofish doesn't quite manage to take him down. Second shell will come out from Yukai. This time does connect, and in free kill is left to try and pressure him off the hill as TCM Gaming are forced to go forwards, trying to stop the cap here. But the Lummers are certainly in favor of momentum right now. Oh, by quite some margin as well. But they have to close out the game, bearing in mind last time they got this close, they had the advantage. And then it slipped due to TCM being on the defense. However, the cap's still going. Bunkers does take a shell, but there comes Outrun. Going to speed that timer up, but for how long? Durs going a little low here. Yukai and still Mojo going to have to find their way into this one. No forces really towards the east side, but 10 seconds of the cap. Yes, me comes in, does the damage. Track is finally goes down, but cap being reset a hell of a lot here, but it's going to start getting a little bit too close for comfort. And maybe, just maybe, momentum could claim it now. You could see the sniping ability from TCM Gaming is still on point. They hit Outrun, they hit Road. Fantastic work from them, but still the numbers in favor of Momentum. They have got oh, two tanks now wow. in favor. 
That was th Carvey just got deleted off the map then almost instantly. We'll have to wait and see if that comes into effect. But now two minutes left. It's going to come down to the wire here and free kill gets maybe a bit He's of a free reload. shot towards Yukai. Get, yeah, he does a reload now. Oh, beautiful positioning and delivery. Free kill taking this time, not rushing it. Taking it perfectly. Yukai goes down and now they will not let these guys escape. Durs is spotted. Free kill waits. Doesn't take the shot here. But he's got to be careful. He can't allow Eurofish and Yuzni to get away. I'll this be time. so surprised if Momentum doesn't win this game. Manza might actually fall here, two yeah. versus one, and Yuzni and Eurofish both have reload. But Manza on the drive by does manage to hit quite a few shells. Ooh, might not be able to fall, but does find at least one tank. And Yuzni now on his own as as does Anikta also going down for TCM Gaming. Yeah, and Yuzni now last man alive. TCM just being beaten to a pulp here. And the final shell will be delivered, and it's momentum picking up the three to one scoreline. Yeah, they um, they got the early advantage with the damage. I mean, you could see Dazinikta took a lot of shells. Yes. Still Mojo also. I think if those two had stayed a, a healthy, um, or and Purple Shift die immediately. Yeah, if Purple, it was straight if, away. If those almost. if those damage didn't didn't come their way, I think it could have been a, a TCM Gaming's win. But Purple Shift dying the two five one was massive. Still Mojo receiving a lot of shell, a lot of damage there also was massive. So. Yes, TCM, they were in good positions to stop that cap from behind, but they simply didn't have the HP to push in and to uh, to, 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 to do the necessary damage to take down momentum. It's funny that some of the things at the very start of the game can end up affecting at the very end of how this turns out. <clears> so all in all, though, performance-wise, I'm kind of surprised it's not 4-0, if I'm completely honest. I, I don't like putting it that way, but I think the first round in the, the second half was very close, TCM ended up winning it, but I think, as you said, a couple of seconds here or there, sure. it could have been changed over. However, I do feel this is a deserving scoreline at present. I, I agree, and you know, the most impressive thing about Momentum is that T32 pickup working very perfectly nice. for both of them. I mean, 2,178 damage is no laughing matter from that no. tank in the previous round, so amazing work from him, and maybe some of the other teams will be taking that lesson with them into the next matches. Cliff next, though. Um, this is TCM Gaming's map pick this time. Um, could swing things back in their favor for sure. I mean, you got to remember though, 3-1 down, they've got to win the next two rounds that they would just want to even up yep. and not give a single round to Momentum. Well, they can give one round to Momentum, but you don't really want that's to. it. So the room for error is pretty low right now. Yeah, very small margin for any of those mistakes to come through. Again, however, you guys at home, your vote was <clears throat> rather in favor of TCM at the start. I can imagine that may be changing as this goes through. Melly, how are the people doing out there? Absolutely, Lauren. We're on 61% for TCM now, so the vote has been dropping over the whole last map. And I mean, for the community is right at this point. TCM not showing their top game, not showing what they're really made of, and momentum playing well playing good actually <laughs> i'm sorry that was a bit meaner than expected but you get what i'm saying people and um i mean now going to second map with a three line school a score line not in your favor how are you handling this ollie as a former pro player <laughs> thanks for the uh, compliment um but yeah um it's hard because it's more of a mental challenge than it is a, a physical challenge i mean you do have to win that first round um, and it's about playing to your strength. You need to, first of all, make sure that you're winning on the side you're most confident on, and then you need to kind of win one of the sides you're not. So it, it's it's not impossible. We've seen it before. And I think, for me, I'm a little bit more worried when TCM Gaming is actually up 3-1 than, than I am when they are down 3-1. <laughs> so could work for their favor. Okay, so the second map was picked by TCM. So they're starting on their favorite side on this map. So this could be going either way. And people, the vote will be running throughout the break. It will close right before we're heading into the second map. So head over to facebook.com slash WGLEU. Vote for your t favorite team if, if you haven't voted already. And of course, um, hand in your predictions for, for the scoreline for this matchup. Everything is still uh, possible, everything can happen. So um, there's still a chance to win one of the five bonus codes. And of course, keep in mind for the next vote, the earlier you vote, the better your chances are of actually winning one of the codes if you get the result right. So the next uh, way of getting involved with us is on Twitter, of course. Use the hashtag WGLEU to tweet us everything what's on your mind. And um, I'm really looking forward to your tweets. And one of the community members al also said, good attack plans, but too slow in the end. Optimize, continue. So maybe TCM will do it. 
We will know after the short break of five minutes and see you back then. Thank you. 
<laughs> and welcome back to the WGL EU. Apologies, that producer of ours is terrible. But we are almost ready for uh, getting underway once again into today's second game. Yep. Looking a little bit one-sided so far, though. Yeah, it's going all, all of momentum's way right now. Three to one score and after our first map, Moravanka. But of course, it's not over yet. TCM Gaming have a second chance um, at redemption here on yep. Cliff, where they'll be on the defensive side. Now, history tells us, at least against um, Kassner Crew, which is the last time they played, on Cliff was that they are a better defensive team. They won both rounds, lost both times on attack. So kind of makes sense why they're picking up here. Hopefully they can guarantee themselves these two next rounds to bring it um, all even. Yeah, and a lot to be looked back upon as well into what we saw in that one. And certainly not to be remembered now for TCM because it's not something we often see them actually losing out in these sort of instances mm. um, and just not performing at all. Yeah, it's it's really not. It's It's going pretty badly for them. I mean, Purple Shift dying was the reason why they lost that round. Um, just getting caught out a little bit. He should have probably been further back, but still, Mo still Mojo also receiving some damage there. Wasn't too good. You'll see the shells start flying as soon as that bulb does light up on the left side. Um, and he loses about 860 HP, I think. And I'm not sure why he just stayed there. It was so unnecessary. Knew he was spotted. Shouldn't have stayed there. Should have got back. Yeah, certainly a lot of factors there to it come into effect. And surprising from Still Mojo, who's... Meant to be the captain, meant to be the one, you know, mm. the the level-headed yep. leader of the bunch. He gets caught out. A little bit of a worry there, but mm. hopefully for his sake, he does get himself focused up here. Because going into Cliff, you certainly need to have your decisions ready and rather crisp as well. Because Cliff being our second map between these two, a 3-1 scoreline is already looking fairly decisive. And I've got to say, I worry for TCM. They've had some okay performances here. I wouldn't say it's the strongest in the world. But there's a lot to be kind of adjusted in that small break. Yeah, I think they might be able to take out take these two defensive rounds. Um, but TCM Gaming looked like a better attacking team as well. So let's see if their defense can actually hold up here against momentum. Um, and then when they do move on to the attacking side, I think they need to be picking up one of those rounds. They definitely need to be picking up those rounds, I do say. So lineups look like they're locked in at least for the, mem the momentum guys. Two Bulldogs, um, two 251s, a T69. And an AMX 3090 T54 lightweight. So that's interesting. I mean, we don't see the yeah. T69. It featured very much. Uh, it was very popular in 742 on this map, but not really that quick anymore. And, and certainly can't get into those positions. And, you know, a lot of the teams like to pick a T49 as opposed to a T69 um, I for like the damage. The T69. I always like the T69. <clears throat> I'm always... it's, a, it's, it's, it's a good tank. So, so let's look at its viability and where we might really see it in play. Obviously, on the hill, it would be phenomenal. You know, the gun depression that has, the viability from shooting above to below would be pretty good. Pretty much basically where it was in Abbey, in a way. Um, towards the centre of the map, in a, in a way, it could certainly hold its own. But outside of that, there's a lot of counters. And as you said, it's not exactly the quickest tank in the world. No. It doesn't exactly manage to go from point to point. But then again, how often do we see these caps being even touched on this map? Not very much. We've only seen maybe one win on the uh, yeah. with the cap, which is WSD Gaming. But... You know, the T69, you've got to be thinking about like this, okay? So it won't be able to get into the middle as fast as the 251s mm -hmm. or the MX-3090. So it's not like they can use its pure burst potential just to mm -hmm. do an early attack. Well, they're, so what the only other logical choice, well, there's two other options. They can either just play it onto the hill, play it hull down, and just get for the, get it for those, you know, odd burst, uh, those odd burst shots, those odd, odd quick shots. But then you wonder why you appear to use an auto loader for that. You know, quick peaking shots are definitely better when you have a, a tank that only can has one shell. It doesn't need to use, you know, three or four shells because otherwise there's just no point. So I guess the only real option would be for them to kind of wait mm. for that T69 to come into the middle and then, you know, use that burst potential um, when they actually do push across. So that's the logic I'm thinking about it. Rhodes actually left the battle. So possibly could not be picking the T69. <laughs> Just after, to mess with us. After speaking about it for a long time, which is great to see Rode. Thanks, Rode. <coughs> Cheers, mate. Um, but Shout out to you. Oh, he's gone back in again. He's just trolling us. Troll. But no, still waiting no. for TCM Gaming, so it's all right. I rate it eight out, 8 out of 8, mate. What's that mean? Is that a saying? You... What? I don't... Why? Why is You're everyone new to the internet. Why is everyone... He's a little new to the internet, guys. Sighing at me. I don't know. I'm not new to the internet, but I just don't know what 8 out of 8 mate means. I rate it 8 out of what 8. What does it mean? <laughs> I rate it 8 out of 8. Why not 10 out of 10? Because I rate it 8 out of 8. Uh, <laughs> mate. I kind of rhymes to see what you mean. 
That's genius. <laughs> Help him out, genius. Melly, because he's he's not very good at the internet. He doesn't know how it works. This is this is what happens when you leave someone locked in the studio for years. Yeah, no internet connection. I have to. Mm-hmm. I get my internet connection from the neighbours actually. Oh wow! Yeah. nice. So is I get good? one bar. It's great. And that's it. I yeah. I can just about look at Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. and that's about all his happiness. Four um, chan is all, all I can look wow. at. Wow. Yeah. No. So I do know what the internet is. Mm. About Who five, admits to about 4chan fi- these five, days? About five years ago. There, there's, there's nothing good on 4chan There's anymore. never been anything good on 4chan. Oh, don't uh, say that. We might send the 4chan army about, after us. Oh, the Reddit army. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we need to stop going down this road. <laughs> <laughs> it never goes well, though, does it? You know what I mean? But anyway, we are just waiting on the players to get themselves ready. And once they are, it will be glorious. And look at that, Melly typing out perfectly. Hashtag WGLU. If you know what I rate it 8 out of 8, mate, means get involved and teach him, you know? You what, mate? Teach me. Yeah, you what, mate? Great stream. That was really good. That was, I, was, I was actually amazed at that. Like, I was just thinking, how has no one thought of this before? I know. How is Ollie, out of everyone, the first to think of it? Well, Sorry, um, to be a fan, apart from <laughs> Quickie Babe, I guess I'm the only English guy who's on Twitch occasionally. That's true. What is your stream on Twitch? Twitch.tv forward slash laughter W-O-T. Watch it. There you yeah, go. You get you, go. To, you get to see if he's actually Shameless as good as he plug. makes out. No, no, no. You get to see if he's oh, actually get, as good you, you as get, he is. Like last night, you get to see me losing a couple of games and going, "Screw this!" I go to the pub. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> was gonna, that how it went? Literally, like, <laughs> it was so no. bad. I was. You know, you have those days sometimes when you're playing yep. games where you just you just suck. You got to call it a day. And sometimes. it just goes downhill. Mm-hmm. And then you just get more angry and you look like a fool. So you just got to kind of call r- it where it is. Rage quit and leave it at that. Well, there you go. If you ever want to find out if he's actually worth anything mm. of what he says, laugh to the on oh, Twitch TV. Go and uh, give him a follow. Make sure he's uh, well loved by you all. And if he is awful, do give him abuse. That's that's how that's, it works. That's how Twitch chat works. It's that's, fine. That's it. It's literally backseat judging. It's yeah. like they're not even gaming. They're just judging you no. parlously. However, judgment aside, I think the teams will get themselves almost sorted out. So we'll be starting to actually get into game pretty soon. Um, we kept it professional for a good while. <laughs> I'm quite, that was great. Um, we kept it professional for a good while. Just looks at me. Yeah, we did, Laura. We did. We did all right. Yeah. Like, there was a couple of weird points, yeah, but it was right. we lost it now. It's hit. It's, it's half eight. It's my bedtime. Half eight, yeah. yeah. I, need, um, I need a cup of tea I, and a I, nap. I, I, I need one of those water bottles. What is it called again? A hot, hot water, water bottle. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going well, guys. It's, I feel this is like the stream last night. It just goes downhill. After the hot water bottle comment. It's just I need a hot water bottle. What do you call it? A hot water bottle. I said water bottle. Oh. Right. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Let's get the into the game. Ready? Yeah, the, the teams are ready? Yeah. The are ready. So let's quickly run through the lineups um, from TCM Gaming. It's going to be two M41 Bulldogs, a T49, T54 Lightweight, two 251s, and an AMX 1390. So, into second map battle, number five. Three to one's your scoreline. Momentum are still leading. And they will be on the attack in the south in blue. In the north in red, trying to stop them is TCM Gaming. Desperate for a win here. And yeah, TCM Gaming doing quite well right now. They've got Carvey down south, but he's not going to be able to spot anything. So he will be able to get into good position once he knows that uh, uh, momentum goes forwards. But I really want you guys to, to keep your eyes on him. Uh, he'll make damage to his head towards free kill, 274. So, oh, Bernagy as well. Big, big plays coming from Steel Mojo. Not from Steel Mojo, from Euralfish. Taking that player down to a, a smidgen of HP 117. So firmly advantage for TCM Gaming. Yeah, nice start. A phenomenal start. Burn, certainly someone you want to be hitting up early on. They're down to 117 HP. And that's a massive difference. Now Eurofish may be looking for a little more. Trachis is there. Peeking across. And already hitting 943 damage. Perfect beginning. Yeah, meal fish. Trying to find a second shell. Track is the next one on that board, so if you can connect to it'll be great. Free kill though. Here's a receiver, but doesn't quite hit. Now TCM Gaming, you know, on the defense, they've done good initial damage. They've basically stopped momentum from being able to go forwards and said to them, okay. You know, if you want to come for us, you're going to be at a disadvantage. You're not going to be able to do that much damage, and we're going to be able to beat you in every kind of respect. Carvey also playing it patiently down in towards the west side, but just about moving a little bit too early as Manza, team captain for Mentum, does go left. I'm still amazed at how much damage that one tank can do. It's literally taking a whole tank out of the game so early on. Yeah, okay, it's on 100 HP, but that's a one-shot for everything on the board. Absolutely incredible stuff. 
Uh, track is set. Just in a little bit of a skirmish with Durs. Nothing too serious, but momentum really now need to bring themselves back into this. Bearing in mind, if they do overcome that sort of deficit of burn being so low, that is a phenomenal way to get on towards match point. Um, your official, though, might be looking for that shot towards track is here. Not going to find it. Takes a little bit of damage as well, so he needs to be cautious. They're clearly going to be keeping tabs on him, but maybe looking for more. And uh, <laughs> Eurofish does oh. connect it, but gets so unlucky there, just connecting onto the track of free kill and also receives the shell there, but does bring his damage to almost 1.1k momentum. Starting to build momentum down south. They got the 251 there, the T54 lightweight also looks like he wants to come around. So they're going to be pushing onto the, the RU251 up north, which is still Mojo. Man's going to come from behind alongside um, his paired Trakis, uh, Road, mm, no, Outrun in the other Bulldog. And uh, they're kind of just going to collapse and catch TCM Gaming right in the middle. But still need to get the execution right. And with Eurofish doing such fantastic work right now, it's going to be hard as Carvey does spot them. And, uh, well, it's both M41 Bulldogs versus the M41s and free kill of Momentum. No big move just yet. It's much better from TCM, though, looking like they're at least keeping up on par. There we go, Manza. Making a little purple shift. Still sticking around. No worry now. The longer this goes on, the more momentum are slowly working their way back into this. Yeah, and they can just push the 251s there if they want. Eurofish also receiving another one. And as you said, the damage is starting to head their way. As a big shell does land into Bungus. I think that was two, actually. Um, or maybe just one from Yizni there. Um, but yeah, for sure. Momentum are doing quite well. But look at Road tries to get on the hill. That T49 just isn't quick enough. Receives about half HP, but that will be the end of that, I think, oh, for him. Right. As he does ha is forced to get off the hill. Eurofish as well, oh. and he will die. Yeah, Bungus there. Couldn't get out of the way in time, really. And HP's still getting fairly close to even. The lower does is going. The more he goes down, the more... This is kind of back on. Momentum, though, need to speed this up. There's two minutes left, and TCM are still in control. Yeah, the purple shift in Carvey, though, because they'll have reload, they'll be able to take down these M41s, no problem. Right, see how it goes. Manza does fall. Nicely picked up there, but Outrun not going down without a fight here. Carvey actually taking some from the side. Carvey could fall. It's beautifully supported by Free Kill coming in on the side. And actually, this is sticking toe to toe. TCM still just in the lead, however. Yeah, they have more HP, but that was bad. Two Bulldogs should have been able to take down them. But the thing is, um, quite a lot of misses and, and bad play by Purple Shift actually didn't allow them. Uh, Trakis is coming from behind, and he's going to try and find Eurofish. See what he can do. Eurofish is there. He's on reload. He can't do much. Eurofish, he knows it. He's just on the run trying to get out. Trakis takes one, takes two. He's taking a lot of damage. And Eurofish finds cover. That's dangerous, but beautifully done by Eurofish and the TCM boys. But oh, Eurofish goes down and maybe not cleanly out this just yet. His momentum still not willing to give up. But look at you, Kai and Yizni. So much HP there. Yeah, they can actually solo the rest of momentum right now. Outrun also receiving another shell. He's going to try and take down Silmoja, but missing left, right, and center. Finally does connect one. And uh, momentum actually getting to some good positions. I want to see what Yukai can do, though, in the AMX 3090 if he heads behind some of those buildings to try and um, stave off momentum going forwards. I mean, the 3090 won't be able to do much. Yizni taking a shell from the top and 53 seconds left. And Yizni trying to escape, might just die, and he does, leaving only still Mojo and Yukai to try and do this. But time is of the essence, 43 seconds. Yukai, it's all down to you. Taking a little bit of time then to actually start getting away. They are on defense, TCM. They can try and outrun this, but free kill, also in a 13-90. Bungus, not too far away either. They, they can just about keep up, but it's free kill who has to get into this one. 25 yep. seconds, outrun on the other side. They're going to be trying to pinch him around 20 seconds, though, if he can manage to stave away the onslaught track here, but not down and out. Outrun has caught up, makes two. 13 seconds, swift dispatch there. Yukai still on the run. He can do this, but will they be able to make the shots on the corner now? Yukai dodges one, claims another. Four seconds left. I think he's done it. Yukai has just about managed to get out of dodge and TCM manage it again in the last couple of seconds. Yeah, Yukai just managed to run away just about in time, but that's yep. the second time he's had to do that. Um, the first time was on... So how you want to be winning. So no, it's exactly the, the point. I mean, yes, they managed to just about hang on, but 
you know, at what cost? It's clear that Momentum were the better team. Free kill again doing 2.1k damage. Yizni basically dying for nothing in that T-54 lightweight. And that was the problem. Yizni wasn't in the right position behind that rock. And also some great play by the 251s coming off the hill allowed mm. them to take down Yizni. And, you know, they just couldn't get that positional play right despite Eurofish doing great damage. And, and once again, do you think this is a deserving scoreline right now? I, I don't know what to make of it. It's 3-2 to two and, you know, I guess whoever wins deserves it. But you've got to feel that momentum were down a hell of a lot, brought it back and then pretty much TCM won by running away there. Yeah, exactly. I want to see a more convincing TCM gaming this time around and maybe even a better momentum. But True. I, I, I think, you know, momentum did a great job, for instance, with those two Bulldogs. Fantastic work. Free kill coming in support as well was great for them, him as um, him. But I don't think Rode did much in the T69. He basically just died. Yeah. So I think, you know, replacing him with a 251 wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe the Nemex 3090, probably a T49 is your best choice, actually. But looks like both teams are going to be sticking with the same lineups um, had, heading into the second um, defense uh, attacking round for uh, Momentum. You can see these Bulldog players was fantastic. You know, outrun basically solos both players. Yes, he's got free kill and support, but free kill only makes two shells. And that gave Momentum a big, big advantage in that situation, but mm. not quite enough to uh, take down Yukai. And that's the thing. It's 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 all this kind of stuff of literally uh, outplays <clears throat> from Momentum keeping them in this game. They're, they're, they're so close to winning this at times, but then, as we said, a couple of seconds here and there and you know, a couple of mistakes just costing them this round so it does get TCM back in the runnings of this I think if it went to a four to one it's pretty much done but yep. you know three two it's still close enough but maybe momentum can push that a little bit further bearing in mind they did almost get one shotted at the start by Eurofish there as well so there was a lot on the line for them yeah I mean a hundred percent um uh, I mean Eurofish basically saved them the day um yep. you know if you didn't do that initial damage to that two five one um, Momentum would have had a lot more HP to play around with at the end of the day, and also the T69. You got to you got to remember, Momentum just did not good positional play at the start. If they did, they would have won it. But anyway, yep. second time round, again Momentum on the attack, TCM Gaming on the defense. Let's see if they have a more convincing round as they do head up in, in towards the middle area. Carvey still down south, and I think Manza is going to be trying to find a one versus one situation. But Carvey now in the better position, doesn't quite find him and doesn't even realize he's there. Yeah, Manza actually getting fairly away scot free. And let's see how they now take this one. The T49 uh, once again in the hands of uh, Eurofish here. Oh, beautiful work again from Eurofish. 785 damage done. Backs away. He's always caught out by Manza, though. A lot more shells to be made. Manza takes one back finally, but Eurofish does go down quite a fair bit here. And actually, he could fall. Finally, Yisni and Durs come in to soak up the damage, but Manza doing a marvelous and job. And Carvey's actually going to be able to come behind and finish off Manza. Yes, he did a great job against Eurofish, but that's a sacrifice Eurofish had to make as he will fall to Carvey. Surely, Carvey needs to land one. There it goes. But still, two tank advantage now to TCM. Big, big advantage. Still Mojo also trying to do some damage on the top and they're actually forcing momentum to go back. That's good to see TCM Gaming are actually playing for the counter. Carvey having to get out of there as Purple Shift also receives some damage. And I think the best play for men tonight right now is where Bernie, Bernie G is on the hill, making the pressure, trying to do some damage and get his team back into mm -hmm. this game. It's going to be hard. I think you also need to rotate around, take down Carvey and maybe come from the south. But he is doing good work. And he just needs to continue doing that once his team rotates. Uh, momentum. It's always, it looks so drastically against them, but the HP's not that far off. And two shells hitting in their favor. We'll keep bringing it closer. Carvey on the flank still uh, off to the side. Going to be applying pressure towards Trakis, who could be taken fairly low here, but oh. Carvey takes a lot back then. But Trakis also falls, so that's a tier 7 for a tier 8. But it costs TCM Gaming about 1,000 HP plus... You know, Dazenichte and Yizni all took shells, so not such good play from TCM Gaming, but they still pick up that tier 8 tank. If Trackers hadn't fallen, it would have been another story, but he did. So TCM Gaming can walk away a little bit of a smile on their faces. Outrun also um, trying to get out of the way of Yizni's 90mm um, shell that just comes zipping past him. But I think TCM... They can, you know, start to use their second Bulldog, Purple Shift, to try and do some a little bit of extra damage. But I don't think yeah. they really need to go forwards. They don't need to be aggressive here. Sit back, relax, and, you know, wait for a, a damaged and a, and a wounded momentum to make that last push. And 
you know, just stave it off. Yeah, I think this has been a solid performance so far by TCM, actually, putting it that way. It's the first time I've really started to see that real solidarity coming through. Um, this would even the scoreline up to 3-3, three to three, so exactly what they need. And road there even taking a shell so it's looking good for them this time around and they've just had to play very standardly i like the play that they were doing the bulldogs splitting it down to the south we we're going to try and get a little bit of a flank on and they're just playing a lot better now tcm i'm surprised uh, still mojo didn't just you know push down and take him out but yeah. you got the bulldog coming from the south and as i said you know it's all going to be about that bulldog keeping bernagy from peaking as well um, and it should just be about okay for tcm gaming but it's only a matter of time, 3 minutes and 27 seconds left on the clock. Playing it patiently, playing it well, as more damage does head the way of Burner G, and I don't think he can escape this one. And I like this play, it's, it's near on the counterpart of the northern push that can come out from the attacking side in the south. It's it's how you get teams off I've, the hill. And I've hardly I've, seen think, it. No, I'm, I think that's something Purple Shift has found himself, or something TCM kept up their sleeve for some time, but it worked out perfectly. Road now, that T69 really not getting into the game at all. And now here comes the push. TCM may be looking to finish one here. Yeah, this is game over now. Yisni does get tracked in an awkward position, but Eurofish took down that T69 road. And uh, the M41 Bulldog will be coming off reload very quickly. And I think TCM Gaming are just going to go in. Eurofish would like another shell. He'd love to take down Outrun just to you know, nip up that damage a little bit more. Doesn't find it onto Bungus, though. And I think um, once he comes off reload and once Purple Shift goes in, it's game over and TCM will be evening the score line up to yeah, three apiece. I think it's the first time I've really seen them deserving a beautiful positioning coming out from Purple Shift then in towards the south, picking up another kill. Hitting over 1k damage in that Bulldog. Not bad at all. And TCM bringing it back to 3-3 three to three here. Momentum being completely caught off and completely outplayed. Yeah, and Purple Shift, I want to give him a special mention because he played mm. not too good in that last round, but there he played very, very well indeed. And, yep. you know, some great sniping shots with the M41 onto the 251. But you can actually see Eurofish taking out free kill on the cross. This is what won TCM game the game. It, it was over in a second. You blinked and you might have missed it. Watch that one back. But Eurofish... All these big, heavy hit of players, you put them in this tank and they can really start shining. Whether it be Elian, Mr. Chef, whether it be Doctor, whether it be Eurofish, any of them. They always give us a stellar performance and that was certainly something to be uh, remembered. Two hits now on both rounds, actually really defining it for the uh, TCM side, picking up both now on the second map. So bringing it all even three to three. But it's now time, I feel, for Momentum to try and bring back the pace of the game. Bearing in mind, mm. both teams can still win in this map. Yep. I have to wait and see what they can do here. If you're a betting man, where are you going? Well, I, I, as I said, TCM Gaming look better on the attack and they look not too good apart from that last round on defense. So I think TCM could potentially sneak mm. a win up here. Um, but it's all going to be about that attacking side and what momentum d can do to defend. But generally, I think TCM, you know, they've used that heal quite well. They've, you know, used Purple Shift behind. I mean, Purple Shift against Kanzano was all about playing behind mm. and trying to get those shots on there, but they just lacked a little bit of execution. They also failed the two versus two. Um, but lineups are locking themselves in now. It looks like TCM Gaming like to stick with that T49. They've gone with the bu double Bulldog as well. Um, the T49, uh, T54 Lightweight, 251, and AMX30 90. Whilst Momentum, as they would do classically, quadruple, 251, T49, 5916, and AMX30 90. Well, let's find out how these get put to use because this is a big round to pick up. Momentum, the momentum of it all alone, not the team, um, is going to be massive because we'll get you onto match point. That's the big factor here, that it's match point time. Sitting on three is great. You know, it gets them back in the game for TCM, but we know they're a team that can choke and have choked several times on these points where they finally get back into the game or they finally get, you know, the advantage and then suddenly it goes away. First time in a while we've actually seen them building themselves into a bit of a comeback, but let's see if they can keep that one up as hopefully the teams are prepared and ready for this one to kick off because I'm looking forward to seeing this one get underway if, if I'm completely honest with you, seeing who will make it to that match point marker. I'm, I'm, I'm with you that one and um, I'm really looking to seeing, really, really looking forward to seeing TCM Gaming um, ability to attack and what momentum yes. can provide to us on the defensive side as well, of course, but um, yeah, we're just about ready to get into game. As you said, three apiece if if uh, if Momentum wants a chance and if TCM Gaming wants to win this one, they both need to be picking up this round. This is the most crucial round we've seen yeah. apart from that last round on, of course, uh, Muravank, which is our last map. Um, but yeah, definitely a bit of a comeback from TCM Gaming. 
uh, for them. But still a lot of work to do. The one thing which I am starting to lead towards TCM Gaming now was that last round. It probably gave them some confidence, it gave them a little bit of an ego boost, and it showed them the kind of way they used to be playing, and that's possibly where they could win this. Well, they certainly need to aim for it as they watch in those last two rounds on this second map here. And let's see if they can do it for the final two coming up, if they can get to that match point and then take the game. It's the big question here, or will we be going to the decider map? Momentum took it to three first, and that's been taken back by TCM. Currently all tied up, all square. And let's see who's going to be the bigger and better team in this. Whoever gets the match point, I feel, will just get that real confidence, that real momentum, be able to take it that step further. So I believe it is game time. The teams are ready. They are locked in. The tanks are looking good. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put my money on this one. It's, it's a hard one to call. Do you go with the team who's built back into it or the ones who got there first? I'm going to find out our answer soon enough. Still not liking that T69 in play, but this time it's with TCM. Yeah, still Mojo's picked up. I think this might be one of the ways we're seeing the teams um, change their style. But three tanks going down south for um, momentum, and this could be bad news for TCM's Purple Shift. Is the only one there um, in the M41, but he has got still Mojo in support. That could be their play. So yeah, this goes free kill. We'll get reload in a couple of seconds. Purple Shift. Really fluffing the shots there, only just about managed to hit one, but still Mojo not yet to be able to get into the game. Finally connects on towards Burn, but look at Purple Shift, he's in trouble here, but Free Kill's also pretty damn low. If Purple Shift didn't miss those first few shells, this could be another story. If he didn't miss those, he would have gone down, but Yisni does save the day, and Burnji also receiving a lot of damage, and that's the way you should play, be playing the T69. Not putting it into the middle, because it's too slow. Just putting it down south for those burst shots. Well, it's, it's worked thus far. Bungus and Burn looking a little bit worse for wear there. Three tanks to uh, really pressure him, and it looks like Track is coming in towards the middle. Maybe you're looking for a counter push, but TCM are still on the hill. They've got good positioning here. They've got great positioning. They have the hill, they have the south, they have everything they need. They might also be able to take down those two two five ones as they head up into the middle, but Yisni not in a great position for that. As Track is, does try and do some damage, but he might get a little bit of surprise from Burnergy who don't even get themselves bodied because of the positions of those bushes. So TCM Gaming doing quite well. And this is the attacking side we like to see. They're more confident. They're more clinical. They have clearly a plan and they're executing it quite well at this point in time as Carvey tries to make some damage, damage of his own. And it looks like for momentum, their idea is to basically just sit as far back as possible, put some distance between them and their opponent. Yeah, no kidding. They are literally in the northeast right now, and Eurofish taking a bit of a beating from afar. That T49 is not phenomenal at range. You say it time and time again, this is not the best position in the world. However, Yisni does get caught as well from Manza, so <coughs> unique positioning here coming out. Yeah, and I guess the problem for TCM Gaming right now is that they can't really flank around that lighthouse because of the two two five ones, the three two five ones sitting there, the 59-16 in the middle. I'm not sure exactly what the angles are like for where the two five ones are, but I'm sure mm -hmm. it's pretty bad. So you can see immediately that's why TCM Gaming are going towards the left and not deciding to go around that lighthouse like you would normally see. More damage coming out he isn't he trying to do some work of his own but so far failing a little bit he's on only 494 hp and made only one relatively low damage roll shell i believe that was on to um possibly i think bungus um but yeah they're going to come from the south northwest even and maybe this is the way they want to do it i mean they can basically shoot that t49 until it's dead but they still have to deal with those 2251s yeah and I, i'm curious to see how now TCM actually respond to this because it's a bit different. It's not standard. It's not, you know, the exact way you'd normally have to do this map. And so far they're going blow for blow almost in this. But Bungus taking a big hit, then down fairly low. 1A1. And Yukai just prowling around the perimeter looking for more victims. And oh, finally a reply as Road does come rolling down. Yukai will have shells to make first, but Road. Oh, misses it. That's not what you want there. He was confident in the move, but now might be in trouble. Actually, you guy goes down and he might find some cover there. Yeah, but Road has sacrificed a lot and, yep. uh, lot and the momentum sacrificed those positions. I think this might be the beginning of the end for them as Road does hit the road and dies as does Burnergy. Both falling just for the kill onto Yukai, who didn't even have all shells in that autoloader. Bundist will also probably get spotted and taken down. Does manage to connect that shell onto Yisni at least, and the hill is going to come into play now as TCM Gaming wants to get that overwatch. They want to start to see where momentum are, and I guess that's the problem from the northern position. Once it gets spotted, you can get sniped. 
Yep, certainly a factor into this. A blind shot by Carvey, great stuff. That's phenomenal. Is that actually a blind shot? Yep. Yeah, not even supposed. Wow, uh, Bungus now, well, he's in, he's in a lot of trouble. 33 HP, Tragus is spotted. And I'm waiting to see how this pans out. I'm still not used to seeing this so split up on this map. Yeah, but the time is starting to tick now for TCM Gaming. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Does Anikta does put the pressure on the cap? That will force momentum to go forwards. Bung is probably the guy in charge of decapping this. As Trakis does get spotted by Yizni, but still Yizni failing to do the damage. Yep. 83 seconds. Trakis probably going to get caught here, I'd imagine. Mm, Yizni. No, doesn't make it away. Cap has died towards the northwest. T69's there, the 251 Bungus, uh, he, he can barely move, let's be serious here, he's literally on no HP and Manz has taken a lot as well, this looks like Momentum have pretty much got themselves out of the game now. And Bungus just fell thanks to a good shot by Carvey on the hill, Manza will fall very soon, Yisney misses the shell but picked up by still Mojo, team captain, Trakis left on a slither of HP, a one shot with only 225 and 250 is the average damage on the 251, 150 for the M41 Bulldogs. But still, Outrun in the 59-16 will just be running away. And if he can get one decap, it can still go the way of momentum. But he still has to find that decap. There's 13 seconds left on the cap. It's confusing. <laughs> yeah, keep on joining it and leaving it. But it is regardlessly going uh, fairly quick. Let's put it that way for TCM. They they should be able to get there before there's any shot in reply. Yorlfish even in the correct position to await if there is a count push. So Outrun, I think, has kind of outrun his usefulness in this one. It looks like TCM are on the verge of getting themselves on match point. And I didn't expect this at the start, but TCM finally stepping up to the plate, taking it to 4-3 to three in momentum, losing out on exactly what their name really stands for. Yeah, for sure. Um, you could see that one round difference, which gave TCM yep. Gaming some confidence in there. Just having a quick look, look through the damage, it's, it's really black and white. 1.7K coming out from the T69 Steel Mojo. You can see the difference in the use on the same side, but the damage is, is a completely different mm. story. Perfect, perfect play by Steel Mojo in that T69. Great stuff from him. Only one who really didn't perform is that T49. You got a question. You know, if you want that kind of tactic, is the T49 really where you, you play it? And I guess also the fact that Momentum put those three two five ones far back kind of countered that T49, but it wasn't a big deal. Mm. They still managed to use the other tanks to get the sniping shots on it. And I think, you know, the fact that they lost the, the AMX 1390 again, free kill, despite the fact that he's probably the best player in Momentum, yeah. was was pretty, uh, pretty bad for them. And the 251s also um, being up north, Great for when you want to get the sniping shots, bad when you get spotted. Yeah, and let's take a look back at the replay. Uh, it's not a draw just yet. Uh, I don't think I've seen that graphic for a long time. No, it's true. It's, it's just, not just, possible As anymore. much as I like the replay, I'm no, going to point just, it out. It's just harking us back to that, to that dark it, it age. It scared me. Yeah. I, th I thought it was progress. We, we've, we've seen 11 of those in a row. I get flashbacks. <laughs> I, I might have to watch that VOD back, actually. I don't want to. Imagine I that. Imagine being tied to a bed, being forced to watch <laughs> watch that VOD back. That must that would be terrible. It's so bad. It's just, I can't even say anything remotely like, I don't know. Is that how you treat your ladies? You tie them to bed and make them watch World of Tanks? Is, is this it? Is <laughs> no. What? Who says that on a show? You, apparently. Yeah, I, but I was making a point about that VOD and you have to turn it into some sort of weird Nelly thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> wow, it's all going on now, isn't it? I'm just sitting it? here perfectly quiet. Yeah, Nelly's innocent. Nelly's the innocent one. I would here. never do that. Ollie. What was the game again, though? What was the game? It was like Vert's Pro versus someone. Um, Prokhorovka, 11 draws. I know draws. it's Prokhorovka. I'm trying to... <clears throat> Was it EPS? Uh, it might have been EPS. I think it was a finals. I am not sure. Was it a finals? No. No. It felt like a finals. <laughs> it's basically like a whole uh, day. Um, if you guys at home remember <clears throat> which <clears throat> game it was, do link a six. I kind of... kind of want to watch it. I kind of do, even though it scares me a little bit. It scares me a little bit. It's going to be like a four-hour VOD. It really would be. I, 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 do we, do we to be fair, we, we got quite lucky because our finals have been pretty good. Um, yes. WGLRU and CIS in 742, they had um, one map on Ents, which was Na'Vi versus Red Rush Unity at the time. Mm. And that lasted for like nine draws in the finals. 
And that was terrible. That was really terrible. I think well, the admins actually forced them to move. On a city map as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Procrofka, you can kind of understand it in a way. But there's just like... no point. Like, yeah, it's money at, money at yeah. the end of the day, but it's not. that's not worth it, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, no, not to that degree. But regardless, I think the teams are just about ready, and let's hope for no draws. Guys, if you were around in the old season of WGL... It hurt us Good too, times. those draws. It hurt us as well. Don't uh, worry. They you know, know. They know. We all know. We were all there. Anyway, let's get into the game now because TCM are on to match point. Four to three is the scoreline. And thank you, Observer. Bulldogs, ahoy. We do appreciate it. Four to three, TCM leading in this one. Momentum letting it slack a little. And Momentum will be in the north on defense. In the south in red, it will be TCM on the attack. As you said, match point for TCM Gaming. They need to win this round. And uh, they will be walking away with a, a very good three points and the three points they desperately need to bring them in that top six spot once again. And Eurofish going for an early peak, trying to find some good damage. I think, you know, he's doing the right thing because once he does find oh, that initial oh, shell, wow. it could be game over. If finds it, it's only an M41, but that's good enough. That's beautiful. What an advantage, but it's a one point exchange. Was that good enough? Oh, but Manza also received a lot of damage. I think it was worth it for that, but still gunning the game could give momentum something here and Manza you know in that T49 it's not a big deal that he's on half HP because he needs that one shell doesn't need to stay out in the open for the shells but free kill receiving another one Yisni does get one of his own back and uh, TCM Gaming are keeping the pressure on I think they are still winning this one by HP but in terms of damage momentum has more I tend to agree momentum really collating themselves around the foot of this hill maybe starting to look for a way back in and still Mojo going for a a little bit of a peak there, very dangerous. Well, Trakis though as well. Trakis now starting to feel the pain down to 483. TCM Gaming again will tr be trying to flank. I'll be interested to see what the M41s do. At the moment, they're playing on the hill, and I think they'll just go further up the hill, but later on, they might actually try and go south and go for those uh, kind of pincering, pincering maneuvers. But Road is in a good place to try and shoot them, but Carvey being slow, uh, being fast even, um, getting into A2, and TCM Gaming are not waiting around at all. No, certainly not. And right now, momentum once again falling back to the northeast. And I didn't like this when I first saw it. And I'm not sure if I like it now. Manza might be left out to dry considering that Bulldog is up in the northwest. But it looks like there's going to be a challenge there, seeing if who's going to be able to pick it up. Manza not going to be able to make a shot here. He does have a support, but it's between Carvey and Road. I want to really see Carvey. Carvey's on reload. Is going to get caught out here. Road's coming in. He's going to push Carvey away from being able to challenge Manza. And this is a good move from Road here. Carvey just being pushed out and pushed away and keeping momentum in this game. Great, great move there from uh, from Road and bad move there from Carvey actually going on reload. But um, TCM Gaming might be able to do some damage of their own in the middle as Manza now down to a one shot at only... Um, 52 HP could even get rammed to death, but you know, momentum now, you know, at a good advantage. They've taken two of the TCM gaming tanks down, and I think they might be able to hold on here for a win as Bungus does go around. The 2251's looking for a little bit of damage, but still Mojo keeps them at bay. Yeah, HP still fairly close. Burn getting caught, that's not good, but Bungus might have the opportunity there, but taking two as well. They're taking a lot of shots here. And look at the HP, it's getting lower and lower. Maybe TCM can still do this. Two go down. And TCM might have just pulled a bit of a comeback here. I'm not sure why those 2251s pushed forward. That was completely unnecessary. They knew Purple Shift and Yukai were on the hill. They knew they can get sniped out. And free kills now left to try and pick up the pieces. Just about dodging a few shells. But still, as you said, TCM Gaming now two tanks ahead. But uh, does and Nikta receiving quite a lot of damage. But uh, there's only so much an M41 can do. Exactly that. And I think he knows it as well. It takes a big hit there from Durs, and it's a lot of tanks ready and willing to take him down. And after that abysmal performance on the first map from TCM, they have certainly found their footing here on Cliff. Free kill. Even getting hit there. Still Mojo and Yisni looking for it. It's, it looks like a matter of time to me, but momentum, maybe they can dig deep enough, but you've got to say it. Yisni, I think, is up there fighting uh, uh, the two five ones. Yeah. And, and you guy will find him, yep. Yeah. It, it's looking beautiful right now. Yisni there giving it some towards Trakis. Trakis bus just about comes off reload and as did Yisni now road. Last man standing after, as we said, the treacherous start and the treacherous road TCM walked. They do manage to take it 
and that was a beautiful display. Yeah, executed perfectly. There's really nothing wrong with that one. And uh, I have to say the balls on Eurofish to go forwards just to, to basically kick. sacrifice himself to say, OK, we're going to lose a tier eight here. We could potentially only find a tier seven was great. But his team in the background supporting him, just overmatching the, his death by doing a lot of damage onto Bungie was, was really Manza, cool. Look and at that. especially Manza, yeah. So obviously Aaron goes down and at that point Manza takes three or four shots down to 403 HP at that point. So beautifully done in the end. Yeah, TCM Gaming um, started off shaky as they sometimes do, but I think they got better and better. And after that one round on Cliff, they were unstoppable. You could see that's the TCM Gaming of old and um, the three points in the bag for them is good stuff. Yes, and it looked, from a, it looked like a different team from game... You know, map one to map two, completely different there. So yep. nicely done, TCM. Really solid performance on Cliff. Ravanka maybe needs not some so work. much. Maybe needs a little bit of work, yeah. but still, you know, everyone's At least got they have something maps. to work on. I'm not sure if they did. You know, it wasn't terrible, but they just made a few mistakes here yeah. and there, and they need to work on their position on Ravanka. But they have something to work on, which is good. Let's hope they can focus it down for those last couple of play days. However, it's not just about us here in the studio. It's about you guys at home. And Melly, how did the people do? Did they get that vote right in the end? TCM did come through with a strong victory, but only in map number two, really. Exactly. As uh, said earlier, the vote started off with a clear 100% for TCM Gaming. TCM couldn't hold it, hold it, uh, hold hold these vote results, of course. They dro dropped down until... Uh, 50, 55, 56 percent, uh, to be honest, and um, but the vote has been closed right after the first match, after the break, after the first match. So the voting results aren't affected from their play on the second map. And um, yes, the next vote should be online in a bit. Don't forget to vote for your favorite team and predict the exact scoreline to get a chance of winning bonus codes over at facebook.com/wgleu, because. Um, this match is history. Now it's time for um, the next matchup. And of course, tweet us what's on your mind. Do you, what, what do you think of that matchup? Just head over to Twitter and follow us at WGLEU and use the hashtag WGLEU to contact us, to talk to us, to compliment all the honest, nice behavior, blaming really persons that just sit around and <laughs> mind their own business. But yes. Um, Get involved, people, and um, if you want to watch back those draws, just head over to youtube.com slash WGLEU. Follow us there as well to get a notification as soon as we upload new VODs. And switch back to season three or something and have a look back what we suffered from time to time. But it was fun. It was a great time indeed. And we saw some great matches back then as well. But the next great match it will be up in five minutes. So a little break here. See you then. <laughs>